Yeah, okay, I think I'm live. We'll see. We'll just do make sure I'm live on the platforms I'm supposed to be live on before we get officially, officially started here. Uh, it's so hard to tell on YouTube. Can somebody tell, am I live on YouTube? Will somebody uh, give me a comment out there like, hey dog, you're live? Because I can't tell for sure. Oh wait, live? I guess I am. Hello, Gray Gorilla. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Glad you guys could be here. Glad everybody could make it. Um, we got a little bit of a different thing going on here today, as you can see. Oh, first, a little extra special treat for everybody. I brought all the dogs in here just for a little something different. Come here, guys. Come here. So everybody gets to see some dogs. Who doesn't like seeing dogs? Take it. Good girl. Take it. Take it. Dogs. I just got back from the dog beach a little while ago, so they're they're gonna be chill. Normally I don't keep them in here because they're rowdy as fuck. Um, okay. So um let's see. What are we doing today? Um well, first off, welcome again, everybody. Peter, Tom, Reed, Gray Gorilla, Curtis, uh, Philip. Wonderful. Great to see all of you. So, what are we doing here today? Well, uh, I am going to run the gauntlet. This will be uh, the first time I'll do... Th the, the first one's free, I'll say. I'm going to run the gauntlet once. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to run the gauntlet here again um, in the future. Uh, but I'll, I'll do it one time on the stream for now for for your your guys' sake. So what are we working with here? Well, I've got um, a variety of different products lined up here. I've got um, some in the pipe, the bubbler, the bong, and the volcano. Uh, is gonna be some Indica Mendo's Breath rocking about a, a they advertise at 20%. I'm going to say that probably closer to 18, 17%. THC, so again, pipe, bubbler, bong, volcano is going to have that. And then we've also got uh, a dab rig and the Puffco Peak, which we're just going to use with some oil, probably just some butter right now, Nepalese something or other. Um, so we're going to do it all. And I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to go, I'm going to go pipe. Bubbler, bong, water, uh, dab rig, puffco, volcano. I am going to. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run the gauntlet. So we're gonna start with the pipe. Nice and easy. Good way of you know working into it. Get these dog treats out of the way now. So again, we'll start with our pipe here. Nice and easy. Uh, let's catch up with chat a little bit here. Uh, somebody said, I'm looking like John Lennon. Well, thank you. Uh, Jared says, the Kiva Camino gummies are one of the best gummies I've ever had. I totally agree with you, my friend. Jared, love them. I think I have a review of them out. Uh, gave him a glowing review. Um, Peter asks, what does the blue ball one do? That is just a dab rig uh, that I needed to have cleaned better uh, that I did not. I cleaned everything but left the, that... Uh, not looking too good. Okay. Um, all right. So nice lineup. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and begin here with the pipe. Let's get this party started. <sighs> ah. Uh, Roxy says, heard you were chatting erratically uh be careful you will get dashed in the thames dumb ute oh uh i i i think he's threatening to kill me in london or her roxy are you threatening violence against me it's totally cool if you are i'm just curious um so uh jared gibbs says this is like an olympic event you bet it is guys i have a more reviews coming soon. Still all in the backlog. 
But I did just finally shoot my Ardent Nova review, which I, uh, I'm looking forward to having that come out. Uh, it'll be a while before it's out, but it'll be there. Uh, Reed says, beautiful setup. Well, thanks, man. I, uh, I, I took some time to, to make the gauntlet here. Oh, Koala Balls 59 says, cheers, mate. Well, welcome, Koala Balls. Uh, if I know anything about Koala Balls, though, it's that uh, your balls are imperiled um, because of all the chlamydia running rampant in the uh, koala population. Um, uh, Peter Griffin says, I have a difficult, difficult time cleaning my glass pipes. Any recommendations? Yes, I can definitely go ahead and recommend the uh, Formula 710 by Formula 420, I think, it, or something. Just Google Formula 710 cleaner. Uh, and I would get the, not the instant cleaner, the, um, the normal one. It cleans about just as fast and a little better. Uh, all you do is you just basically squirt some of this liquid into your glass pipe, plug up this, the um, every opening and shake it and it uh, dissolves all the resin and gunk that's in there. And it is super, super effective. So I would check out Formula 710. And I, I think you get like a three pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks or something. All right, where are we at? Okay. 315 South Camden Suite, 400 Beverly Hills. Uh, hello. He says, long time no see. You got a beards now. What's up, bro? Uh, not too much. I'm not sure when I didn't have a beard, though. 315 South Camden, sweet 400 Beverly Hills. Uh, I, I, I'm glad we met. I'm not sure I, rem I know who you are with that name, but I'd like to. Um, Jude Q says, why do you hold it in so long? Just wondering. Good question, Jude Q. I only hold it in so long so I don't get chastised as much on the internet. Um, there's really no data or research out there on how long you need to hold in your um, inhalant to get the maximum amount of THC absorption in your lungs. People say different things. The consensus seems to be, you know, um, a couple of seconds and at five seconds, there are greatly diminishing returns after that. Uh, I traditionally don't do it as long, but on my cartridge reviews, people used to get really upset when I would um, exhale faster than five seconds. So I just sort of force of habit. Good question. Gray Gorilla says, have you ever heard of the Cookie Factory? They have blackout brownies that I think you might like. I have not, but I will check them out now. Thank you for the uh, heads up, Gray Gorilla. Philip says, I love the PAX reviews. Keep coming up with the new flavors. I do actually have another PAX pod review that'll be out at some point. I just didn't want to flood the world with them. Uh, 13 says, what kind of flowers are my token on right now? This is all a pretty decent quality Mendo's breath. Uh, one of my favorite strains, but I won't go into what strains mean. Um, okay. Uh, Jared says for cleaning tips, just use ISO. I mean, ISO 99%, the best you can get, or Ensalt. That'll do a very, very, very good job. Um, the the one difference between the Formula 710 and the uh, just 99 proof uh, or the ISO is the um, the Formula 710 works in a minute. It's it You can basically be done cleaning and cleaning like a little over a minute. Whereas with alcohol, you need to let it soak long. You either need to let it soak longer or you need to put more elbow grease in trying to get the stuff off. Um, okay, I am falling behind on my smoking, which I need to do. Um, uh, okay. Da -da -da -da. Roxy says, nice room, boring door. I like to decorate all the doors in my house, but your doors, X. 
That's it. I would like to. I, I take some good door decorations. If you have any good suggestions out there, Roxy, let me know. Um, David Ringler says, "Wheats, do you ever decarb concentrates to make butter?" I still have never decarbed concentrates in my ardent, but I will. Uh, I am going to actually do a video on it, uh, on trying decarbing concentrates in the ardent. I've heard it works wonderfully, but I have never done it myself. Um, only ever decarbed flour, um, largely because it's easier to get big quantities of flour than it is to get big quantities of concentrates. Um, okay, so we are getting caught up. Purple uh, Viseos, or I'm sure I butchered that. Well, howdy, Purple. Thanks for joining us, man. And 315 South Camden says, I came across you a long time ago on YouTube. Well, thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you uh, being a fan. Welcome, Salvi. Sarah Smiles says, first time catching you live. Cheers. Well, thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. Glad you can make it. Uh, Izzy also joining in saying, have you ever tried distillate in those sketchy syringes? So good. I have. The syringe model for concentrates is underrated. I think more people should do it. Uh, it's a really nice way of applying concentrates to certain things, especially things like this Puffco. That's hard to get concentrate into it because you're not sticking something in and then, you know, swirling it around and getting the concentrate off. You have to get the concentrate in there and then leave it in there without heating it up first. And it makes it difficult, especially with certain kinds of concentrates. So I like this syringe idea. Okay. First one down. Pipe. Done. We did it. Okay. Uh, Philip says, mmm, chocolate covered shrooms are good this time of year. Making me jealous, Philip. I would love some chocolate covered shrooms. I don't know anybody who sells them. Um, Izzy Bell says, super chat. Oh, you don't have to donate anybody. That's super, super kind of you. But you totally don't have to. That's I, uh, Izzy, thank you so much. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Um, that is... Sorry, I am a, I'm looking at a really shitty monitor. And I have a shitty keyboard because I'm on a different sort of part of my office than I normally am. I'm trying to resize some things. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that's the money shot. Okay. Uh, now I have a bigger chat. Uh, Jude Q says, do you ever get headaches from high percent CBD? Tree doesn't give me a headache, but other forms give me a headache. Uh, Jude, uh, I don't know because I don't really consume any c pure CBD at all, ever. Uh, I think I've only ever had one pure CBD edible product. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot for me. It's not, the CBD side isn't so much why I come to um, weed. It's not for the anti-anxiety property so much, more so the uh, mind expanding properties of weed. The uh, changes in thought is what I like, more so than the sort of relaxing uh, nature of weed. Uh, and especially CBD. Um, okay. Uh, what do you need to reload with the syringe? Pods aren't refillable. Most things aren't. Oh, and Sarah says that she has made some infused maple syrup. That actually sounds super good. And Mad Crypto joining in. Welcome, Mad Crypto. And then we've got Purple. Purple says, I should review the Breeze spray. I can't smoke or vape for medical reasons. I think it's the most cost-effective way for me to get high without making my own edibles. I totally agree with you, Purple. Uh, I have not done the Breeze uh, 500 or 1,000 milligram spray. I will, I will do it at some point. Um, I have done some of the 1,000 milligram tinctures, uh, but I've never done any of the sprays. Um, and I will, I, I absolutely will do that at some point, Purple. I'm going to do the review for the Breeze sprays because I've done um, some of the other Breeze products and I think they're actually pretty good. 
And again, the idea of a very small, discrete thing that can get you quite high is always going to be uh, something that I'm looking for. Um, okay, uh, more chat, more chat. Uh, let's see. Mad Crypto says he just smoked some Gorilla Glue number four. My man. Um, <laughs> THC Temple says, do I support Papa John's rise to power? Um, TH Temple, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it more of a fall from grace than a rise to power? The, um, racist awful son of a bitch was forced out of his company years ago for making racist statements. And now he's back by gorging himself on his own pizzas, uh, beginning to look like his pizzas and um, telling the world that he has, you know, great ambitions to, uh, to take back over to Steve jobs it to, uh, to come back where he came from, right the ship and put Papa John's on top of the world. John Shatner is going to turn Papa John's into the world's first trillion dollar pizza company. Move over Alphabet. Move over Microsoft. Fuck you, Apple. It's all about the Papa John's. PJs! Um, Sarah Smiles says, CBD never worked for me. Kind of like you there, Sarah. Uh, I think a lot of the CBD claims, not all, but I do think that some are um, sort of snake oily. Uh, there is definitely some snake oil out there um, with CBD. And also, CBD doesn't have to be lab tested. So everybody is lying about how much CBD is in their actual products. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Unless it's, especially if it's like a smaller regional brand or you buy it at like a gas station or something, it may have no CBD in it. Uh, it's, I'm, that's just the way this shit works. Um, okay, uh, I see a lot of consensus out there that Breeze is awesome and that I should do Breeze. Uh, I Thank you again. Totally going to do it. Totally going to do it for sure. Fur Bear, welcome, man. Thanks for uh, joining in. Glad you could pop over from the, uh, the video. Uh, Sarah says, unless it's mixed like a hybrid, I am medical, so my tolerance is high. I, uh, I understand the, uh, the, the pain of the high tolerance, Sarah. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a burden. <laughs> um, okay. Greg Gorilla says, where can I get those strips you just reviewed? Because I hear people talking about them all the time. Uh, Greg Gorilla, I know they're all over Long Beach. Uh, I can think of at least two dispensaries in Long Beach that carry three, two connected, both connected in Long Beach, I think carry them. And then the lift in Long Beach carry them. Uh, and they're about the most affordable edible on the planet. Uh, you can, you can, I've seen those at $15, you know, out the door tax and everything, um, for a hundred milligram edible is about as good of a price as you're going to get. Um, So wait, uh, Peter asked a question that I must have missed. Peter Griffin says, "Oh, how much are packs and oh, how much are packs and dart pods full grams? Full grams? I don't think they make packs pods in full grams. Uh, I know they didn't. They definitely didn't originally, Peter. Uh, and I don't. I still don't think they do. Um, but they're." Their pods actually run a wide variety of prices because they're not like Steezy where everything's in-house. Like Steezy makes, you know, Steezy's like Apple. They uh, they own the, the vertical integration. You know, everything is theirs. Whereas Pax has uh, farms or, or other brands that license the Pax model. Or it's more like Keurig, I guess. A Keurig is the better analogy where, uh, you know, other companies make pods for the packs that they then pay packs a licensing fee or with or whatever. But I still think they're only half grams. Uh, the dart system I have never done. Uh, it is something I will do at some point, but I still have never done the dart. Um, uh, okay. TH Temp THD Temple says initially fell now rising to power again, referring to Mr. Shatner. 
Let's hope not. Uh, Jared says the biggest problem with Papa John's is the quality of their product. I think that is definitely a product uh, a problem in, in addition to many, many other things. Uh, Izzy asks if I ever tried the brand Drip. Uh, no, I have not. Uh, Furbear says currently nibbling on some Kiva raspberries and cream white chocolate. Ooh, I have not tried. I think that's one of maybe their new seasonal products. I think they now have seasonal lines, which sounds good to me. I'm falling behind on my uh, smoking duty. I'm going to have to just catch up on smoking for a little bit, and then I'll get back with chat. I promise. <sighs> nice. That is tasty. Oh, Roxy has now left us. I believe their phone has just died. Goodbye, Roxy. Thanks for joining us. I hope you get a charged battery soon. won't even know there are dogs all around me right now there are three dogs in here and one's fucking huge there's a great dane like right there and a border collie right there and a border collie mix right there dogs man dogs are so great guys i, I know that makes me a basic a basic boy um but I, i've never not had a dog well i guess the four years i was in college and then the one year after college, I did not have a dog. But uh, growing up, I always had dogs. Um, I, I, I just, they're the best things in the world, guys, dogs. Get yourself a dog. And it's, it sucks that <coughs> loving dogs has become <coughs> synonymous with being boring. <coughs> but hey, I guess I'm boring. <coughs> Fur Bear says, as an apartment dweller, I wish there was a way I could co contract out my legally permissible grow. Uh, oh, that would be nice. Uh, Fur Bear, have you ever looked into those, those like home systems that are like the little basically closets uh, that are fully... Uh, they're pod base they you take like nutrient pods stick it in and then you put in your soil enhancer and that and it just lives in this big closeted thing perfectly illuminated for the right temp for the right uh, uh you know uv rating blah 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 they cost like three thousand bucks but it's like the way to grow weed in an apartment um I don't think that's for me, but I, I think the idea of it is pretty cool. Um, a dog did come up and is now looking at me. Hi, buddy. Oh, we got treats, so I could do that. There you go. There you go. Dog treats. You can tell I'm getting high because I am getting distracted. Um, hi, bud. Go back to sleep. Okay, uh, Jude Q says, dogs make us better people. Yes, they do. Uh, Sarah says, my pup is security for my outdoor grow. Oh, a little, uh, guard dog, eh? What kind of, uh, what kind of pup do you have there, Sarah? Uh, Peter says, my dog hates weed smoke in his face. <sighs> Maybe don't blow weed smoke in your dog's face if he does. I mean, I'm sure it was an accident. I've had him for 13 years and gave marijuana to him at an early age. He's still alive. Well, I mean, I assume I, 
I will get shut down and maybe even arrested for this. Uh, certainly somebody's going to report me to PETA and my channel gets shut down. But every one of those dogs has at one point in their lives um, accidentally consumed some amount of edible to some degree. Uh, each dog, one twice, the others once, have all been been high. Um, I, I And uh, accidentally, I mean truly like eating a brownie and a crumb drops off, but back in the days of high potency edibles, if you have a small brownie and a crumb drops to the floor, well, that crumb's going to have a hell of a lot of THC still. And a dog uh, it weighs considerably less than a person, uh, and it's going to affect them a lot more. So uh, each of these dogs has, has been under the influence, and um, it is both a little sad and a little funny at the same time. I feel both horrible, of truly terrible, and very amused. When, it, when it's happened. Um, but I don't wish for it to happen again. Um, okay. Furbear says, I've never heard of those, but my real problem is that it's a tiny pace, no, oh, a tiny apartment, no space for something like that. Yes, even that would still require s some square footage. I mean, it's not much bigger than an actual, you know, marijuana s single plant would be, but it does still require that kind of space. And if you're, you know, in a big city, Hey, 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 LA! Well, I guess I'm in Long Beach, not LA. Um, but if you live somewhere, you know, where it costs a lot of money for very little square footage, you might not still have the room. Um, Tom A says, grow tent, bought mine on Amazon. Oh, a grow tent. Do you, uh, do you grow outdoors, Tom, or indoors yourself? Uh, and Sarah Smiles says that she has a G Shep for the longest time in my life. Uh, German Shepherds were my favorite dog breed. All through growing up, um, adolescence, teenagers, teenage years. Uh, it wasn't until I got to know some Great Danes that I... Great Danes became my favorite dog breed. Great Danes are probably the greatest no pun intended, things on the planet. They're just, they're stupid, they're lazy, they stink, they make the most ridiculous noises, they sh they just lay around, they bitch and moan, they fart, but man, they're great dogs. And they eat a lot, and they shit so much. But you should all get a great day. But you shouldn't because that you shouldn't encourage dog breeding, especially not Great Danes because they're all unhealthy. Because being a dog breed that large makes you—I mean, dogs aren't supposed to be that large—and you will suffer some health problems as a consequence. So sh shame on anybody that has a Great Dane. Shame on anyone who has a Great Dane, except me. No, shame on me too. But man, Great Danes. I knew I, there was a a Great Dane rescue. Uh, at a dog park I used to go to a decade ago. And they just would come in every day. And they were just the goofiest, dumbest, dumbest, goofiest, friendliest, dumbest, friendliest beasts on the planet. They're awesome, man. And that's... Two down. I'll show my work. <coughs> <coughs> Two down. Four to go. Holy shit. This is crazy. Let's give these dogs some more, um, these raw hides here. Or dingoes is what they're called. Okay. Frog, you want another one, girl? You guys can see the great day now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Uh, and dudes, sorry to keep talking about my dogs, because th there is nothing worse than so you just blathers on about their own dogs. Um, they're all getting old, man. Oh, Sarah says his, uh, 
her Great Dane, or, or excuse me, German Shepherd's nine. My oldest dog is is going to be ten this year. And yeah, they're all old. Uh, the youngest one's six. It's just watching a dog get old. It's sad, man. It is sad. Uh, Sarah says uh, she uses some infused lotion in his hips and he walks better, which is what I knew about German Shepherds is they have, can get like the hip dysplasia and the, yeah, that their back legs look so weird, uh, especially the older they get too, just their gait. It's just so strange and sad. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, oh, Tom A. Uh, has his grow tent indoors in New York. Is that New York City, Tom, or are you are you an urban boy, or are you uh, do you have a house? Do you have a, a a yard? Peter says, uh, "Have you heard of the Hulk dog?" Um, not specifically, but I'm almost certain I know what it is. Probably a dog that suffers from what is the disease called? where it's just uncontrollable muscle growth, basically. Uh, it's actually pretty sad. Uh, and it can actually happen to people, too. Um, it's just that you're, for whatever reason, uh, your muscles get the wrong signals and are constantly um, growing, basically, and makes you have this jacked look. Uh, but really, it's, it's, you know, because the dog is suffering. Um so, Sarah says, Tom, your darn mayor needs to free the weed. Yeah, de Blasio, get on it. Um, and uh, your former mayor needs to stop running for president because fuck Mike Bloomberg. Racist piece of shit. <sighs> fuck Mike Bloomberg. Sorry. Uh, that's that's enough about Mike Blum, Bloomberg. Blum, Blumberg. Um, Furbear says, while I do love dogs, I'm more of a cat dude. Nothing like lying on a couch with a cat purring in my ear. Furbear, no shade to cat lovers. No shade at all. I love cats. I think cats are awesome. I, uh, I had cats for years growing up. I got a cat when I was like 10 and... He died just a couple of years ago, actually. Um, like he, I, I had well, there I had two cats. Uh, they both lived to be ancient, ancient, ancient. I love cats. Cats are great. Uh, but if I had to choose, I would choose dogs over cats. But I do not, do not, begrudge anybody for choosing cats over dogs. Totally cool, man. Um. Sarah says her German Shepherd has uh, has the hip issues, but the personality of Jerry Lewis, the nutty professor himself, uh, back when the nutty professor was Jerry Lewis and not Eddie Murphy. Um, do you remember Eddie Murphy? Man, I did watch My Name is Dolomite. It's actually really good and reminds you that like Eddie Murphy is awesome and that I miss Eddie Murphy, and I would love to see Eddie Murphy be good again. But it went downhill fast for him. He had two big franchises in the 90s that are both just terrible. The Nutty Professor, uh, The Nutty Professor 1, and The Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. Uh, and, um, oh fuck, what is the other two... Eddie Murphy duo movie where he dresses up. I don't know. Eddie Murphy. He's the donkey. Um, that's my point. Is Eddie Murphy plays the donkey in Shrek. And ogres have layers. Uh, so yes. Uh, ogres have layers. Donkey and Shrek. Tom... Confirms that Tom lives in the state, not the city. So you don't have to tell de Blasio anything. You're off the hook. You're off the hook, Tom. Um,
Tom says, or Peter says, we need a new town hall meeting ASAP. We need a lot of things. Fur Bear says, anyone but Trump. Well, yes, okay, uh, Fur Bear, if it came to it, of course, of course, of course. Um, not that it's going to matter anyways, uh, because there, <laughs> there will, it's, I mean, it's already over. Um, but that's another t topic for another video. Um, Peter says, I love pit bull puppies. They are pretty wiggly, aren't they? They're pretty, pretty wiggly. Okay. I got to catch up. I got to do more. Bong, bong. I'm focused on smoking for a little bit. <coughs> Let's keep that warm. Peter asked, have I seen that video with that stoner who lights up a joint in the middle of the court for possession of a joint? No, I have not seen that. I would like to check that out. And that guy, uh, that's some good civil disobedience. Um... But Thoreau would be proud of that guy. That is some, that's some Martin Luther King Jr. shit right there. That's some uh, peaceful resistance. Uh, Jude Q says, how many states have a recreational marijuana? Uh, will somebody do the Google for me? Uh, I don't know what the actual number is right now. Uh, my guess is three, four, five, six, seven. I I'm going to guess 11. That's my guess. Somebody give me that number. Oh my God, I'm going to feel so good if it's 11. Uh, Fur Bear says, I just want to know why there isn't a strain named after good uh, Plutonium Nyborg from the movie Heavy Metal. Meow. Heavy Metal, man. There's not, there are not many movies like that one. That is, a, uh, that is a unique piece of cinema, regardless of how you feel about it. Fur Bear says, I mean, you could call it, just call it Nyborg and have hybrids like Purple Nyborg and Platinum Nyborg. That is an even better idea, Fur Bear. You guys should be out on the, uh, out there on the marijuana strain naming convention that doesn't exist. It, but that's how things get started. Like, you just make it up. Just start calling yourselves the marijuana strain or the cannabis uh, the cannabis, uh, what are the cannabis classification, the, cl the cannabis classification, um, what do they call it in, you know, um, when you're classifying species, there's a very specific term for it. Um, that's what you would want to call yourselves is like you're, you're a phrenologist or whatever for cannabis. And then just, you know, start asking people to give you money and for you to come up with the, their name. And, um, you know, at some point people will just believe it. That's all it takes is you get a couple people to do it by bullshitting them. And then other people think, well, shit, I better get my strain named by the cannabis, um, classification board, uh, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to be left out. I, I don't want people not to know my strain isn't official. So then they're like, well, you know, we better do it. And then it's a snowball effect. And then, you know, before you know it, people will never question where this thing came from and why it exists. It'll just be part of the weed world. Um, because, uh, you know, the world is uh, forged by con artists. Um. 
So, uh, somebody asked, I, my keyboard is fucked. I'm really sorry. I need to fix this keyboard scenario and this arrangement. It makes things difficult. Oh, Izzy says, um, might be a dumb question, but I live in Arizona, uh, where there's only medical. If recreational gets passed, do you think taxes will go up for medical? Uh, Izzy, they will probably do a bifurcated system, which I think a lot of states still do where they have a two-tiered pricing structure. And also, uh, I think some states even have a two-tiered like dosing thing for edibles or and like how much you can buy at a time um, between medical and recreational. So uh, if Arizona takes their model after, you know, some one of those states, which I think is proved to be pretty popular, um, then, then it shouldn't affect them at all. Uh, but we'll see. Um, Sarah says, uh, it should be tax free for medical. Of course it should. It's absolutely absurd that somebody, uh, it, well, I, you know, it's tough. It's people shouldn't have to be responsible in, in this world of abundance for, you know, their own, to fight for their own medical needs anyways. Uh, and then, but if they do, to tax them for the, their things that have been determined by a doctor to be medicine uh, is just ludicrous. But America, man. Um, uh, Peter Griffin says, a pineapple express... Oh, sorry. I'm going to move on. Um, ba 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 Fur Bear says nomenclature is the, or nomenclature, I think at Cambrino's, both the, uh, is the word I was looking for. It's, it's close. Uh, there is a, a term for somebody who categorizes things, um, who, you know, says what genus, what family, what species. Um, uh, yeah, there, there, there's a, a taxonomist or whatever. I cannot think of the term in my high state. But uh, nomenclature is very similar kind of concept. Oh boy, I'm way behind. Grovel, welcome Grovel. Glad you could join us, man. Uh, we're about halfway through the, uh, through running the gauntlet here. We've done the pipe, and we've done the bubbler. We're on to the, the bong. Then we've got the dab rig, then the puffco. Finally, the volcano is our finale for the day. <coughs> Fur bear says, taxonomist is right. Oh! <coughs> Well, thanks, man. Oh, wow, fur bear, you're you're smart. I like smart people. Um, boy, I am falling apart. Let's do some stuff. Uh, Justin, we have to go down the line. We we're going in order here. Next will be the dab rig, but the the dab rigs don't take as long uh, compared to the the pipes. I got about one more in here. I'll let you guys check my work. Pretty ashy there. I'm going to call it that one. All right. We're halfway through. <coughs> but now, now's where it gets, it gets challenging. It's been child's play up until this point, right? Just grass. Now we're getting to the big leagues here, kids. 
we're getting to the fire where there's flames involved. Uh, Furbear asked, wondering what other Californians think of the California Cannabis Hemp Initiative 2020. I like that in places it says cannabis regulations can be no more burdensome than those than alcohol. Um, I was not aware of that as an initiative, Furbear, uh, but what a wonderful um, sort of... Um, bind they put somebody in with that little uh clause it, it forces somebody to confront like well why would alcohol be taxed at a a demonstrably more harmful drug than marijuana why would it be taxed in a more lax fashion uh yeah it kind of uh makes you forces you to confront that hypocrisy um, that's really cool. I had not heard of that. I'm actually going to look, look into that after, uh, after that, this live stream. Thank you for bringing that up. Don't do this at home, kids. Sarah says, it's just like the pharma bullshit. Oh, man. It is... I, uh, I, I'll ref... I, I always have to hold my tongue in these things because I am not an apolitical person by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I, I have very strong views on a lot of things. But it's just a hostile place on the internet. Uh, and it's just better for your health and well-being to just not engage with it. But I also realize that that is cowardly and I don't like cowards either because really you should be making people confront the all of this uh but it is tough and also i don't want these live streams to be that either like you know uh you are everybody every second of every day is barraged with uh how terrible the state of affairs is uh maybe for the duration of one of these live smoke sessions it doesn't have to weigh on one's mind so heavily maybe all right here we go dab time was a big one for me. <coughs> Whew. Got me all sweaty. <coughs> Whew. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Small break <coughs> on that one. <coughs> Woo! Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Wow. Right to the head. That that was a big one. All right. Moving on. Fur 
Bear asks the great question, now that I've regained some measure of composure, says, why does a 100 milligram edible require a child resistant package and not a liter of 80 proof booze? Uh, and the answer for Bear is, uh, why do Republicans, or let's just, why do cons <coughs> conservatives require, want to require women uh, to uh, have children that they don't want, but then also cut all funding to the programs that that child would need to thrive after that child is born? Just quandaries. They are just quandaries. Um, uh, we'll call it moral cowardice. Um, but I don't know. Uh, Justin says, if you move the nail around, the, if you move the flame around the nail instead of just one spot, it evens the heat and takes away a lot of the black residue. But if you leave it in one spot, it will char quicker. Yes, good point. Uh, I, I normally try to be more conscious with my uh, rotation, heat the whole thing more evenly. Uh, but I was a little distracted, both reading chat, and uh, I'm also uh, extremely high. Uh, so I wasn't doing a very good job. But yes, that is, thank you for bringing that up, Justin. Oh, and then I got an excellent question, one question that I, I would love to answer which is Grovel says, Wheats, can you recommend me another Switch game? Slay the Spire is awesome. Grovel, first of all, I'm so glad that you love Slay the Spire, but I'll kind of not be, I mean, I'm glad that you love it, but obviously you love it because it's mechanically speaking, the best game ever made. Um, Slay the Spire, it, it has the most addictive, just, uh, that just one more turn, just one more round, just one more run um, thing down, but not in the pernicious mobile game way of like, oh, I want to get this bar filled up, so I'll spend 99 cents on this so that I can see this bar that goes all the way up, which means that this bar will then move up fast at a faster rate. It's not that at Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire has that an even more addictive feeling than that, but not from, you know, nasty behavioral psychology hooks, but because of just incredibly well-designed uh, brain-tickling puzzles. Because um, every hand is a puzzle. Uh, love that game. Slay the Spire could play it forever and ever and ever and ever. Glad you enjoy it. Uh, Grovel, but you ask, are there any other games? Um, if you are looking for something uh, more action-oriented, but still a uh, rogue light like um, that, try Dead Cells. Dead Cells on the Switch. I think it even might be on sale right now. Uh, it is the best one of the rogue-like platformer, uh, action platformer games out there by an order of magnitude. Uh, it looks amazing. It plays amazing. Um, it, it, it is really just a marvel, that game. Um, it'll get under your skin, and you'll you'll be in a very just-one-more-run kind of feel. Um, so check out Dead Cells. If you're looking for something um, way different, but will also provide dozens or even a 100 hours of fun, I never thought I would have enjoyed it. Never, ever, ever would have thought I would have enjoyed it. But I had a friend just really, really, really sell it to me. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. Fire Emblem with three houses on the Switch. Holy shit. Um, it's basically kind of like uh, Harry Potter meets XCOM in a weird way. Uh, the game is bifurcated as into like two things, a pretty hardcore strategy, RPG, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics type style, um, and then also a school simulator relationship thing. It's kooky. It's great. I loved it. Fire Emblem, Three Houses. Uh, any other Switch games off the top of my head that I can just 
throw out as oh uh i'm gonna totally do this as a cherry on top later uh i'd heard so many people recommend sayonara wild hearts it's like one of a24 i think or annapurna maybe annapurna the movie studio that also makes video games uh it is this defies description uh sayonara wild hearts it's a it's a weird title uh, it's kind of an on shooter like Res or Panzer Dragoon or I'm trying to think what other on shooter come out recently. Uh, but it has this ridiculous pop soundtrack and this trippy aesthetic. Uh, and it's pretty cheap. I think you can get it for like 12 bucks. Check that out too for something very, very different. Uh, but the real answer though, Gravel, is if... Uh, there's just so much great stuff to play on the Switch. Uh, right now, I am actually b back to playing Civ VI uh, on the Switch. I played it two years ago or whatever it came out, and then I bought the DLC, the, the expansions, which of course I have on PC, and now I'm playing it on the Switch, which has cross-save with the PC. So, uh, Also check out Civilization VI, but <laughs> that's an easy one. Woo! Wow, that was a lot. Okay. I have to uh I have to get caught up on some chat. Where am I? Uh I think I maybe made some people upset with my uh, I did a political rant. Uh, Justin says, you should set a timer for your dab cooldowns. It works great for me, and you will never get those hot lung busters. Oh, that is good advice, Justin. How long do you set your timer for, out of curiosity? Uh, John37 joins in with some, mmm, I love me some dabs. Welcome, thanks for joining in, by the way, John37. Um, we have now... You know what? I'll do one other small dab uh, on this because I only did one. But if you're just tuning in out there, people, this will be the one and only live stream I ever run the gauntlet on. We started with the pipe. Then we went to the, the bubbler. Moved up to the bung. Took a hard right into dab rig territory, which is where we are now. Uh, and we are now going to uh, take one more brief pit stop into Dabrick. Oh my God, my dog just shat. Oh, fucking sh Great Danes, man. When they fart, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, but yes, we're in uh, one last brief pit stop in Dabrick territory before we move on to our penultimate uh smoking vaping apparatus the puffco peak and then the grand finale will be three bags of the volcano there on the far end of the table now that i got everybody all caught up i'm gonna do another smaller dab on this here fur bear says tom i won't deny that alcohol is a lousy drug but I'd love to be able to legally enjoy a nice craft beer while enjoying some weed on a bar or patio or the like. I think that is a totally uh, fine thing to desire for a bear. I, uh, I am not, I don't drink myself. Uh, I have no, don't have any problems with drinking or people who drink. Uh, I just, uh, I'm one of those weirdos who get sick. Uh, pro can't really process alcohol like, uh, one quarter of Asians. Um, I just, it just makes me super sick. Um, and, uh, so I, I don't drink at all, really. I don't, I don't know the last time that I have been, uh, my, even mildly intoxicated. It would be like four years, probably something like that. I, I wasn't a huge lover of alcohol, even when I was drinking. Which, even when I was drinking, was once a week 
kind of. Because it made me sick. And then I got older and realized, hey, being sick is way worse. Being sick does not feel as good as being intoxicated feels. There was a more eloquent way of expressing what I was trying to get across there. I'm trying to do a more even little... More even. Oh shit! <laughs> well, that's the perils of a blowtorch in a small room. Uh, I'm glad uh, it wasn't something actually on fire. But, look, it is now enough time for this to have cooled down. Perfect. Um, John, uh, 37 says, <clears throat> oh, sorry, let's go back to Grovel. Grovel says, Slay the Spire can go from a quick run to an hour plus game before you know it. Hell yes, it can. And that hour feels like five minutes. <sighs> Mike Underwood says, murdering babies is wrong, man. Mike Underwood, I couldn't agree more that infanticide is wrong. But if you're talking about the act of abortion, well, that is not murdering a baby. That is very, very different, in fact. Uh, John37 says, I am replaying Witcher 3 on the Switch. Played it back on the PS4 in 2015 when it came out. Best game ever. You and so many other people, John37 uh, I have not played the Switch port, although I have heard it is surprisingly good, which boggles my mind that the Switch can handle that. Uh, I've played through The Witcher 3 many years ago myself, although I never played through the supposedly incredible expansion, Blood and Wine. Uh, loved it, loved it. Um, the Witcher is mind-boggling to me. Netflix says it's on track to be their biggest first season show ever, uh, and the most mind-boggling thing is on some random like Tuesday in December, uh, because of the Netflix show, The Witcher 3 had its highest concurrent players ever day on Steam, beating, you know, the week it came out. It had its most players ever nearly five years after the game launched, which is just nuts. Um and uh, both shows how great a game it is and how insanely popular that Netflix show was. Um, so, let's see. Uh, Roxy says, I only smoke the strain Crouching Tiger, Hidden Alien. Uh, tremendous bit of smoke love is in the pills of the man in the house. I don't know if I can't read sentences right now or if uh, I, I assume it's just I am reading that incorrectly. Uh, Jude Q says, yeah, I wish your dispensary stayed open till 2 a.m. The government treats alcohol to be the equal to marijuana, but not sold equally. Uh, yes, I mean, I assume these things will change, but it, it is ridiculous now. Um. Fur Bearer says, I am very pleasantly high with a nice body buzz. Glad to hear it, Fur Bear. Glad you're feeling pretty good. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we are in the chat where uh, people have now seen that the fire alarm went off. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Peter says, what was the first thing you smoked marijuana with your first time? Uh, the thing I, the device I first 
smoked weed out of was a uh, pipe, uh, a very cool looking uh, octopus. It it had like it was a very ornate piece that somebody had, um, and uh, that was my first time smoking. There, there's a story to it, but I I. Uh, I am going to take a detour and tell a different story about the guy who had that pipe. One of the most interesting fellas I've ever known. Um, He's a math major. Um, He uh, went on to get his PhD at Vanderbilt after I knew him. He um, was a champion uh junior like amateur g- gymnast he went to all of the like collegiate gymnast competitions he was d- short in stature which is the build of a gymnast um i mean just an amazing 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 athlete he was also a regional bridge champion like the old lady game that you play with partners, the thing that they like kept scores of in newspapers that you're like, what the hell is bridge? And why is this in a newspaper? And what is a newspaper? Um, yeah, he, he loved that game, uh, played with another young partner and played competitively. He was a bridge champion. Um, and his father was the uh, only guy in America, was the first guy in America to successfully grow uh, truffles, like the the fungi truffles, the things that pigs snort for. Um, he was the first person to successfully, like, uh, what's what's the term? Um, cultivate or or you know harvest. It's basically decide to force them to come up truffles uh and then became a consultant for other people trying to become truffle farmers uh and still has a truffle farm himself really cool guy um so if you're out there hey what up man glad you're there you're not but you're you've got way better things to do right now i'm sure all right guys we are moving on to the penultimate piece here the puffco plus the des- the finest name in weed uh john 37 says ever tried a nose dab uh no i have not john 37 what is a nose dab oh and justin's filling me in on some more tech that i wasn't aware of every time i go in the smoke shop i feel so ignorant like wow there is so much shit in here that i don't even understand what it is for uh what you know what is the mechanical purpose of this odd shaped piece of glass with these weird connections i always feel very ignorant um and i can see that you are quite educated uh Roxy says, thank you for causing me to have a small panic attack with that fire or that fire alarm. Sorry, my bad. Smoke alarm. Shouldn't have been having a blowtorch. Puffco peak. Um, uh, Kevin Luna says, what's up, bro? Have you tried the Raw Gardens carts? I do have uh, some review out there of them. Thank you for uh, filling them in, Kusari. And welcome, by the way. Um... Jude Q says, the first time I smoked, I used a bong. And bongs are not first-time items. That is true. You went, dove into the deep end, as they say, Jude Q. That is, that's, uh, you know, a trial by fire. Uh, I, I hope you were okay. Um, for me, uh, m- the first time getting high was quite... It was an all or nothing thing. Uh, I was out smoking. I was at a friend's house. He brought out the aforementioned uh, octopus pipe. Uh, I decided beforehand this was going to be the first time I was going to smoke some reefer. 
And uh, while all these seasoned smokers at the table were getting high quite quickly, passing it around, I was like, I don't, I don't feel anything, man. I just, you know, n- nothing, nothing. My, and they're like, no, dude, you gotta feel it. You're just not inhaling right, or you're, you're just, you, you're just, you know, you're, 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 you're holding back, man. I'm like, no. So then, I, I, the session was over. And about half an hour later, they're like, oh, let's go out and smoke some more. I went out, joined them. It probably went around three more times. And on that third time after exhaling, it was zero to 60. I was not high to uh, the world was seeming to skip. Uh, It's like every other second I was sort of aware of. uh, And the, but, you know, it it was a, very strange feeling, um, like a lot of people's first times getting high, uh, and never able to be replicated since. Okay, uh, did I turn this on? I thought I had. Oh God, don't tell me I didn't have the battery charged. Oh no, just didn't turn it on. Okay, so the Puffco is on, here we are. Uh, Fur Bear says, throws caution to the wind and decides to have a dab of dragon piss. Fur Bear, good luck. Godspeed. Enjoy that dragon urine. Does that name, see, that name wasn't officially sanctioned by the Cannabis uh, Strain Taxonomist Association of America, or they would have come up with a more family-friendly name. Um, Roxy says, I had a friend who owned a bong, very nice person, but stole my money from my wallet. I let him keep it. He doesn't know I know. Well, Roxy, that it shouldn't be, uh, that is not a nice person, and uh, you shouldn't be friends with them anymore. Anybody who would steal from you who doesn't have a truly justified reason for doing so, then that person's not really good. Uh, Peter Griffin says, on Puffco, never heard of them. Ah, they're, the Puff, this thing is like the, um, the thing all the kids are, are the Instagram kids dab with. And you're already going to see the chief my chief complaint with it, which is how difficult it can be to load. Because you have to drop the stuff in there, but you know what? It's very sticky, and sticky stuff likes to stick to other sticky stuff. Oh my god, uh, let's see. Somebody said, America, fuck yeah. I have to upload a video. Um, I have to, I, I wish I could do it right here. Uh, Kusari says, I love strain names. I do too. I was being facetious. Kusari, we were earlier, I was ranting about how um, things like a cannabis uh, taxonomous, c- cannabis taxonomical association, how things like that get formed and why they're unnecessary and counterproductive. I don't actually believe that such a thing should exist. I love the uh, eccentric strain names. The uh, stoners aren't a particularly self-conscious group, which God love them for it, right? God love them for it. Okay. Well, we've got her loaded up, and here we go. Um, Kusari says, oh, sorry, Jude Q, I got crazy high and then read my hand that said, weed can't kill you. Take a nap. Then he napped. Nice, Jude. That sounds like a pretty pleasant getting high, first high experience. Definitely contrasted with uh, Kusari's, which was, my first time I smoked, I didn't feel anything until I threw up in my backyard. Uh, the proverbial greening out, it sounds like, Kusari, which I have never had the 
uh, I knock on wood, uh, I've never had the displeasure of experiencing. Okay, so we're going to set this to the uh, medium temp, medium high, which I believe is red, which is our thing there. We double click it, and then we're just going to wait for it to uh, vibrate in my hand, and we are good to go. Um, okay. Uh, Justin says, the first time is always psychedelic-like. I definitely thought the world was like a cartoon. It was so weird. Wish it was like that now. Totally agree, Justin. The very first time for me, psychedelic is, is pretty, it's certainly the most psychedelic experience I've ever had, including being on psychedelics. Here we go. That is nice. I'm going to put it in sesh mode, little double tap of the button. Just keeps it warm for another 15 seconds so you can keep going at it because there's a little bit more in there. Um, Rocky Roxy says, the first time uh, that Roxy got high, they wrapped their lips on the pipe and felt like my whole body or their whole body was in quicksand. That sounds uncomfortable, Roxy. I hope it wasn't so uh, traumatizing. Uh, as it sounds. Uh, Sarah says, the first time I used weed, I, I ate my mom's brownies thinking these taste funny, but then I ate more. Oh my God, Sarah. Now that, even more so than the bong, is a trippy way or a, an extreme way of getting high the first time in edible. And don't think I didn't notice the bearing of the lead there of my own reactions, Sarah. Your <coughs> mom made pot brownies. Cool mom. Um, that is uh, very different than the, you know, stereotype <coughs> uh, that I had in my head of ones of the normal mother out there. But uh, making pot brownies, very cool. How, how old were you, Sarah? <coughs> okay. Wow. Um one more. Oh wait, there's one fuck. Fucking hell. <coughs> <coughs> Productions asks, have I tried Big Chief Extracts? I have not, but I've had other people ask me about them, so now I am on the lookout for them. Thank you for bringing it up, though. Infinite Productions. Cool name. Peter Griffin says, fuck yeah, America. That was the comment I wanted to uh, bring up, uh, not because of the naked jingoism. But no... <sighs> Turning it off. That one is. Wait, that wasn't off. That was just changing. Got to hold it longer. Okay. Uh, where were we? Peter Griffin. That was where I'm at. Says, "Fuck yeah, America." Comment. Shut up, frog. She's snoring. My dog is snoring. Hardcore snoring. Um. I've been really uh, unable to get this, really this past year, uh, Team America World Police out of my head. Just the idea of it, um, how uh, the, the movie doesn't almost doesn't play a satire anymore, uh, how uh, it just... The right they were, uh, Matt and Trey, way back when. 
and how differently the movie would be received now. Um, and so I was just uh, listening to the incredible song um, Freedom Costs a Buck 05 the other night, and I thought, oh shit, I have these fancy hue lights, uh, and I have this ability to make them do reactive stuff. I was like, I should take my lights and make them red, white, and blue, and then just listen to Freedom Costs a Buck 05 for a while and just let the red, white, and blue lights pulsate to the music. And I did. Uh, and it was wonderful. Um, and I may have to share it with you at some point. Okay. Um, where are we at? Grovel is leaving. Goodbye, Grovel. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, Koala Ball says, you don't have a nectar collector, my guy. Actually, I don't right now. I think it broke. Uh, a nectar collector was the first um, actual... Uh, oil rig that I had. I really like the Nectar Collector. I think it's great. Uh, I may invest in a nice one again at some point. Uh, but yes, I, I have used them, have owned one, and, and really liked it. Um, Justin says, for the Puffco, use a lighter to help melt it off the tool. Oh, Justin, that's a great idea. Great idea. Damn. Furbear says, I use a G-Pen Connect and have the same issue, but what you can do is use the torch on a metal dab tool and melt it off the bucket. Uh, sort of echoing what Justin said. Both great ideas. Smart, smart folks. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to the final act. The volcano. Uh, where are we at? Koala Balls says, what are you smoking on my G? Um, it is apple fritter. I, uh, it was what was recommended to me. Um, at It was like the special of the week. It's pretty good. It's some kind of hybrid. This is Mendo's breath, however. The, the oil was, uh, was the apple fritter. Here we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, Fur Bear says, may have mixed, missed what I was doing. Covered that. Uh, the Axum says, no cough. Surprised myself there. Uh, Philip Baca has the uh, nice little ditty, if you don't cough, you don't get off, which I, generally when things rhyme, it always makes it better, like, it, it almost makes it a true. If you can make something rhyme, like if you can turn something into a couplet, it's it pretty much has to be true. Like, uh, that's what I think, right? I mean, how could something so delightful and, and uh, joyous to the ear be lying? Uh, be lies, uh, you know. So uh, we should all try to speak more in couplet. Is what I'm saying. Uh, the axum, axum. What a name. Uh, okay. Sarah says I took a t hit two years ago at a gathering and I puked. I inhaled really deeply and boy did it slam me. Ooh, that sounds awful, 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 awful. I have, I sometimes have a problem with coughing and it comes cyclically to me. Sometimes anything makes me cough and other times I'm pretty resilient to coughing. But when I do cough, sometimes I cough so much that I uh, get to the point where my gag reflex is, is activated, like where you're coughing and hacking so much that it's like, eh. that was a disgusting sound. Um... Peter Griffin says, what do you think about smoking with your younger relatives or your parents if they're with it? Uh, Peter, what I, I, I don't, um, I, I, the opportunity would never come up for me, uh, to do those things. Um, so, uh, 
I, I mean, if I, I think it would be cool if you did have people that you could do those things with and uh, share those experiences with them. Uh, I, I think that would be very cool. I, I don't have I don't have that opportunity right now. Uh, Philip says, "Keep on rocking in the free world." Hell yes, Team America. Sarah says, I learned the hard way with vaping and edibles on really bad pain days. I double up, but I'm more of a bong chick. The classic water pipe. You can't go wrong with the water pipe. Um, Peter Griffin says, Team America music video. <laughs> Drop it, Wheats. Uh, it was, if you've never listened to the Team America soundtrack, without music reactive lighting in your whole house uh you're you're missing out uh, you're really missing out you uh like i just i felt like i was in, at, in a nascar race i've never been to nascar but i just felt like as if i was transported to the daytona 500 it, it was it's a wonderful feeling in a, in a like terrifying oh god kind of way. Um, Roxy says I've been on a perma trip for the last few weeks, trails and auditory. Not so fun. I didn't think this would happen. What happened, Roxy? How are you on a permanent trip? That sounds pretty bad. Um. Your mom got pissed when you ate all of her brownies. Well, you know, if she, I now that I've made uh, weed brownies, uh, and I have t toys that make it easier, like I have a decarber and a butter maker, and yeah, it's still like a labor-intensive process. I could understand her being upset because it's like, man, that took a lot of work, and you're gonna be really high. Uh, okay. Harry Bruce says, is it true if you cough, you get higher? Uh, Harry Bruce, the truth is there is no truth. Nobody really knows because there haven't been enough studies and it's all hearsay. Pretty much anything you hear about marijuana and weed and what makes you higher and what what absorbs better and what does this and that you know i'm not saying there's no basis for the uh claims that are being made there you know there may be anecdotal evidence or or, or even some uh larger uh you know more sort of uh you you know laboratory type settings where somebody's done some actual research uh, data but even in those settings the sample sizes for these things are so small so limited and are such a are, are so the the people who are selected to test for different things in, in laboratory settings are such a small subset of the people who actually consume weed it gives you a skewed view so the answer Randy, Harry, Harry, Randy, Harry Bruce is, I don't know. And even more so, nobody knows. Now, somebody might say, I know because if you cough, it opens up the trachea more. And with that, the THC that's already in your bloodstream is blah, blah, And it's like, well, you suspect that, but you don't know that. Um, so until... You know, it's there's actual the until the body of scientific ev research on weed starts to um, come more into line with the uh, popularity of consumption of weed, uh, we'll all be better off and we'll all know a lot more uh, about what are the most effective and healthy ways to consume weed. But for now, unfortunately, there's a great disparity between a vast disparity between how much the public consumes and wants weed and how much we are 
researching the consequences of all that consumption of weed. Um, because everything is backwards and fucked up is why that is. Um, but don't let that get you the case of the nihilisms. You know? There are plenty of other reasons. <laughs> okay. Uh... Peter Griffin says, bags or jars to store your marijuana? I would say probably jars. Uh, I don't do either because I consume it fast enough usually, but jars are usually probably going to have be, especially if it's something that, you know, has a very good seal. It's going to keep out oxygen more, I would think, but I'm no material scientist. Um, okay. Uh, Sarah says, I was an 80s wild child. I would steal from her pot plants from the backyard. I would say your mom was a bit of an 80s wild child, too, if she was growing pot plants in the back of her yard in the era of Nancy Reagan. Um, Sarah, I please do not take that as me judging your mother. I think that's awesome. I think it's super cool. I think it's... I, 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 I love that fact. But it is uh, mind-boggling to me that that uh, that that was a you know people were doing that. I thought it was pretty underground at that point. But what do I know? I was only born in the '80s. I didn't really live through them. Fuck you, Ronald Reagan. You piece of shit. Okay. Um, IBLB562 Long Beach says if the glove doesn't fit you must uh not acquit Fuck you Johnny Cochran both dead Both made the world a little bit well Johnny Cock well Johnny Cochran did some good at least can't say that about old Ronnie. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Sarah says she finally admitted the truth to her mom at 25 years later. Hopefully in that amount of time she learned to forgive you there, Sarah. I would hope. Public Awakening! Welcome! Thanks for joining back, man! Glad you could make it. Later, Roxy! Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I probably already missed this. Oh, my dogs are all upset now. Uh, okay. I'm going to just move up on chat. I am way high right now. And things are... Things are... The gauntlet is almost there, though. The end is in sight. And my <coughs> esophagus is telling me even more so than my brain, although my brain is saying it, even my dog here is saying it too, <coughs> is saying, <coughs> <coughs> don't you dare put any more hot air through me. And I'm going to listen to it because if I don't, I'll start coughing more for days. Uh, I'll... So this is this is my last bag here. And John 37 throws down the challenge and says, "Take another dab, dude. Come on." John 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 John. Um you got me. Uh, but I can't. My throat will kill me. It really will. It really, really, really will. Um, welcome, Harry, by the way. Uh, uh, we stream here. I try to, I'm really bad about announcing when I'm going to stream, but I stream probably about two, three times a week right now. Um, so, uh, I will, I, I usually try to post on Twitter when I'm going to stream ahead of time, but I'm, not even always, uh, uh, doesn't always maybe do that sometimes. 
boy, uh, I am, I actually, I, I, I was, I was more confident about my ability to run the gauntlet and be more coherent than I am now. It, the gauntlet, it, I, I'm not even going to finish it. I, I, I'm, I have two more bags to do and I can't do them. Um, so I failed. The gauntlet has defeated me. Uh, my throat is killing me. I feel great. I but I I will admit I will I'm I'm not too proud to admit. Uh, holy shit! I am uh, way 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 more affected than I thought I would be. Um, I was like, oh, I, I'll, I'll come out of this just fine. Like, I'm, I'm usually, I can be incredibly high before anybody would know that I'm high. Uh, I don't, I couldn't hide it right now. I don't, I can barely, I, there is chat happening, and at this point, nope. Um... <laughs> Philip Baca says he's fucking cooked. I can still read uh, fragmentary sentences like that. But the gauntlet, man, uh, is a challenging, daunting task. Uh, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. In case anybody is out there who hasn't seen the gauntlet, uh, here's what we did. Pipe. Bubbler. Bong, dab rig, that's the one that set off the fire alarm, Puffco, and ended it with the volcano. Now, I chickened out because I'm a coward, even though I said earlier I, I don't like cowards. I'm also, not only am I a coward, I'm also a hypocrite. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm chickening out after one out of the three volcano bags. Uh, I'm going to say it's because my throat's killing me, but it's really because, uh, uh, I am as high as I really want to be right now, to be honest. Um, which is again, way more so than I expected to be. So good for you, Gauntlet. You really, you really did it. You really did it, guys. If anybody here deserves a round of applause, we'll say first it's weed. Second, it's my dogs who have been sleeping. They've been pretty good, except for the border collie. He's come up a couple of times. But they've been pretty good. Uh, so, first goes the weed. Second goes my dogs. And third goes to the gauntlet itself, which, you know, it puts up a hell of a fight. Uh, I'll, we'll have to try again. I lied when I said I'm never going to do this again uh, because I have to beat it at some point. Uh, Roxy needs a clap. Okay. Oh boy. Um, all right. Well, with that, I am going to go relax my throat, go drink some water, and go watch Netflix, uh, The Earth at Night, or This Planet at Night, or whatever this, the Netflix's Planet Earth series is, but this gimmick is now it's nighttime. Netflix is Planet Earth at Nighttime, the TV show on Netflix. I'm going to go watch that. Goodbye!